Hey there, everyone. Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to take all of the grammar of formula languages and start to put them together in practice. So I have a table here. It's an inventory of books that have been checked out of the library, and I know that I need to learn some things from this data, and I know I need to write a formula. So how do we do so? I like to follow a four-step process. The first thing I need to answer for myself is what do I actually want to know? I don't want to just get in my formula car and start driving without a destination. I want to know what do I need to understand. In this case, what I'm interested in is who has currently checked out a book. Now, now that I know the question I want to answer, it's time for me to go, all right, well, what data do I need to answer that question? So let's return here. Who has checked out a book? Well, I need to know which books are checked out, and I also need to know the person that's connected to each of those. So let's go up to our table. Notice we have our inventory status, so we know, great, we've got a way for us to know if a book has been checked out, and we also have who is part of each of those. The power of the row here allows us to answer this question. So great, we know our question. We know the pieces of data we need to answer it. So now we need to actually write it. And what I like to do is start the biggest to smallest. Because when you're writing a formula, I want you to imagine it like a little conveyor belt. And on that conveyor belt, you have different little machines that change the item. A formula is a transformation engine. It moves through, it adds something, moves to the next step, we make another change, moves to the next step, another change, a next step, another change, and we get our result. So let's start big. The first thing we need is to tell Coda, well, what table are we working off of? So I say equals, hey, Coda, we're looking at that inventory table, right? Equals and inventory. Then I do the dot, and then. This is us moving to the next section of the conveyor belt. And I want to filter where the status, the inventory status is what we've called it, I think, is equal to checked out. So now we've moved along this conveyor belt. We've got all the books, and now we've said, okay, just show me the books that are checked out. We have part of our answer. But we now need to connect those to the people, right? So I'm gonna go dot, and then what I want you to do, Coda, is show me who last checked it out. And notice that little icon has a, a little stack, so we know multiple people are part of this. Great news. So now we've got that, and the next thing we want to do is say, well, how do I want to see that information? Do I want to see it as just one long sentence? Or my personal favorite, I love a bulleted list. Ah, oh, it's so great. I'll press enter, and there we go. I can see, great, Polly Rose has checked out two, and then Alan has checked out another. So notice, by going big to small, it allows us to really get closer to what we want and check along the way. This is the other tip that I want to give you, is to test each step. Now, this doesn't mean you have to do like a full, you know, retrospective with all this stuff. No, no, no. But just looking to make sure you're getting what you expect every step of the way. And Coda's going to help you out. So let's try it again. I'm going to press equals. I do inventory. Notice I can see here a little um, sort of hint of, all right, great. I've got a list of books that are coming through. That's what I expect to see. Then I'm going to filter where the inventory status is equal to checked out. I can see that there are fewer books coming through. OK, great. We know we're filtering the table. Excellent. But remember, I need to know who checked these books out. So there's another step I need to do, which is pulling out the people, right? Who last checked it out? OK, cool. I see the people here at the top. But again, it's in that sentence format with commas, which isn't what I wanted. So there's one more transformation I need to do, which is dot and bulleted list. And there I can see what I expect. So each step of the way, Coda's going to let you know, hey, is this what you're looking for? So that you can make sure that as you're writing, those transformations are happening as expected. So that's that step process. Start with what do you want to know? What do you need to answer that question? And then start big to small and test as you go. All right, it's your turn. Try writing a formula. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.